with cancer treatments, you never know what the day will bring you. Yeah, you just don't know. You know, I didn't expect to be here this week, but because she's got yellow under her eyes or like in the corners of them, you know, we have to go check out the blood, make sure everything's okay because your liver is trying to filter all this poison chemo and sometimes it'll take a beating, you know? All right, let's go do this. All right, gotta get my altar. Oh yeah. All my stuff for my altar is in here. Everything in there to make our altar for God. All right, getting everything. I already dropped her off. And now, we go. We'll see if my fish friend is still alive and well. And I brought soup for myself because I've been having too many calories lately for going out to eat and everything with Peter. All right, hope I got everything. Great. So pretty. <laughs> Hello. Let me show you the room we're in right now. Sarah's on her way in. This is where I sit. So this is Carlo Acutis. He was an Italian boy. He was into technology uh, in our time, and he used technology to show the world about the Eucharist. And he died at 15 of leukemia. So we have had his relic. And if you don't know what that is, you can look it up. Uh, we had a piece of his hair, his bone, his coffin, and I think his clothing. And so we've been asking for his intercession. Just like I ask you to pray, I ask him to pray and St. Maria Goretti. She was also stabbed for her faith for not doing anything impure with her, her uh, attacker, who was a family friend. I think she was 14 when she died, stabbed about that many times or so, maybe more. I got my rosary from the Vatican and I got holy oils and waters. Even though she's not having treatment today, I just wanna ask God to bless her. And anytime I get the chance, I like to make an altar before the Lord. All right, we're gonna look to see if they have coffee. <gasps> they do. I'm gonna record the fish. I'm out here visiting him right now. And when, when he goes by, he looks at himself. He was even making noises. All right, I guess everything is okay. Gotta just test it, test it out, you know, you never know. And we were blessed by our Lord. Thank you so much. Keep her safe and for any cancer patients out there, may God be with you always and give you the strength that you need to endure all your treatments. You may be healed. We're back home 
and the mister is here. Say hello to your fans, Mr. Kitty. I might actually take him outside. He hasn't been outside in so long because of all the snow. And even though there's a ton of snow outside, we're gonna go out anyway, Mr. Kitty. He needs to. So everything's fine with Sarah and um, I'm gonna eat some soup because soup is good food, Mr. Kitty. Oh, look at him, look at him, look at him. You see the Mr. Kitty on the TV? Look, Mr. on TV, Mr. Mr. And, um, oh my gosh, I've been just listening to this video. My family has always told me that if you're an organ donor, they will have to remove your organs while you're still alive, right? Because if you die and then they take it, the organ can be dead. So we don't want that. So we want to give live organs. In order to give a live organ, you they have to kill you, okay? That's what happens. So I'm listening to this, oh my gosh. And the doctor was saying how they have to give you this, they have to paralyze you because after while they start cutting and everything, your heart rate's going up. And um, oh my gosh, no, not good. Mister, I got some good news about what's happening. Wanna hear about it? Okay, you ready? All right, so regarding the, whoever, for every, whoever doesn't know about the property that my stepmother has purchased in Grafton, New Hampshire, okay? In Grafton, New Hampshire, uh, we are making like a campground uh, type place for you to go and you, it's gonna be off grid. And so uh, last fall, and summer we had, this is Mr. Hi, honey. Uh, we had the land excavated and then we had an arborist go in and he helped us with, um, you know, another driveway uh, and he put in another driveway. He took down some more trees, leveled out some more areas. And now, now that I got my life coaching business up and running, Lisa Fry, the best life coach. And now today, I actually, I actually got stopped by the police. Can you believe it? I was on my way home on the phone with a, uh, a builder. And I was like, I have to go. I said, the police are pulling me over. Yes. So it would have been a two over $200 ticket. Yes, yes, yes. I, I guess I was going faster. I just felt normal and I don't know. Anyway, so I got, uh, so I have to watch myself. Um, so I'm gonna, I don't know if these guys will be in our budget. You know, I said, I'm looking for one smaller than a tiny house, you know? Um, and then if, if whoever works with us and can work with us and we like what you're doing and the price is right, then you can continue to do this for us. So she's gonna see if Saturday is a good day. Ooh, soup is so good food. Oh my gosh. And uh, then I can talk with the contractor guy. Cause now it's time, honey. As got to be. Um, oh, 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 hot, 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 hot. Mr. Kenny, it's very hot. See the Mr. on TV? That's the Mr. 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 There it is. There it is. Look at that, huh? Oh, yeah. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. So, yeah. So, now, for the rest of the winter, she's saying that it probably the timeline, because I was hoping maybe the spring, but it's not going to be ready by the spring, because the spring in New Hampshire, it could be snowing in April. Seriously. I remember that happening. Um, right, Mr. Mr.? So realistically, it might be the summer or fall. So we'll see. But I'm working on it, guys. One step at a time. You know, I have all these projects that I'm working on that are like serious, like big girl things now. And it's like the first one was working on projects on my home after my husband passed away. The second one was, well, actually, the first one was my husband passing away. Then the second one was working on my house. The third one was my daughter getting cancer and then having to deal with that without a husband. And um, so after that, I was like, you know what? 
what can I do when I'm not in grief or in sorrow or suffering? I must be able to do so many things. And so now that's what I'm doing. I started my life coaching business. All set, ready to roll, and and this whole property thing. Why not? Make your dreams come true, everybody. Mmm. Bone appetito. Cause this is keto. Are you ready, you gorgeous babe? You gonna go outside? You got your coat on and your leash on, your harness and everything. Okay, it's been a long time. Here we go. Go ahead. Go, Mr. Mister. He needs a bigger coat. Go ahead, let's go see the birds. Hurry up, outside. Go, Mr. Kitty, go. Come on, go. I don't know if he's gonna like it with all the wet ground and snow. Mr. Mister, let's go outside. Come on, hurry up. Down, Mr. Kitty, down. Outside to the birdies and the trees. Come on, hurry. <laughs> Why are you hesitating? Come on, Mr. Kitty, go. Ready, go. <laughs> Why are you hesitating? Mr. Kitty, come on, let's go. Come on, you. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. Oops, your foot is stuck. Okay. Here we go, loop de loo. Ready? Good. There I go. Oh, your coat's coming off. Hold on. All right, see? Snow, Mr. Kitty, snow. Snow, Mr. Kitty. Come on. There's not many places to walk, but we can try. Come on, walk, walk. Walk, walk, mister. Come on, look. Nana, walk, walk. He's very hesitant. Walk, walk in the snow, mister. Go ahead. He's gonna go on the rocks. Oh, you're too funny. You are too funny, mister, mister. But there's snow on the rocks, too. Oh, the mister. He's like, all right, where do I go? Uh, not too many places here. Just do your best. That's a boy. How does it feel on you, mister? It's cold, huh? Oh boy, yes it is. He's trying, he's doing it. Once we get to the street, you'll feel better. I know, I did have boots for you, but I don't know, they were awkward. So I didn't, uh, I didn't keep them. Oh, he's gonna go over there. The little spaces that he can. Come on, walk, walk. Hear the doggies? He's trying, he's trying. Good job, Mr. Kitty. See, not too bad. Not too bad, right? All right, it's kind of cold. On your feet, I'm sure. Hey, you did it, Mr. Kitty. Woohoo! good job. Outside, mister, it's been a couple of weeks because all it did was snow. And now we're back in action. Might as well, right? So what I do in the meantime is if he's in the house, well, obviously I always let him go in the mudroom and it exposes him to the fresh air, especially when he was sick. He got sick really bad. He was just vomiting everywhere one day. So I always let him out there, get that fresh air because we know that's how we feel when we have fresh air. And I let him also go in a window. And now and then I would open a window. And I, I do that anyway now, even if he's not sick. Just open the, open the window just a little bit so he can look outside, peek outside, get that fresh air, feel like he's one with nature. <laughs> Where are we going, Mr. Mister? Oh boy. Where are we going, huh? Oh boy. Where are you taking Nana? He hears the water going through the sub pump hose. He loves the water. 